Good morning, crafty friends. It's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel, and I am getting ready to go on a little crafty road trip with my friend Danny. I hope you'll come along. We were leaving for our road trip on Tuesday and I spent part of Monday getting my car ready. I got it all gassed up and I decided since I was gonna be cleaning the inside later that I should go ahead and run it through the car wash as well. Since the outside of my ride was now all nice and clean and beautiful, I decided when I got home that I better spend some time making the inside look the same. My car was at a pretty bad point, so I'm glad that I didn't go pick up Danny looking like a complete mess. After I had thrown away the trash, vacuumed, wiped down the dashboards, it was then time to start getting myself ready inside. So I packed up everything I would need for this road trip right here in this little plastic box. Just kidding, I did pack other stuff as well. And you'll see there I had a little uh, buddy watching me to make sure I did everything just right. Now it was definitely a good thing that the day before I got ready because I hit snooze a few too many times on Tuesday morning. Once I had all my crafty supplies, clothes, and snacks packed, it was time to load the car and get on the road. Well, I'm getting a little bit of a late start. I was hoping to leave my house at 8. It is 8.27. Good news is I already got gas yesterday, so I don't have to worry about doing that. But I do need to eat my breakfast, so I have a fork and I'm going to eat my turkey sausage on the way to pick up Danny. Um, I hope that you enjoy this little adventure with us and we'll chat with you soon. I made the short drive to Danny's place, got her picked up and loaded into the car, and we got on our way to Tailored Expressions. Now there aren't going to be a whole lot of on the road scenes for this crafty vlog because we spent a lot of our time just chatting and hanging out and not as much time recording. All right, so it is time for a pit stop, a little drink, a little snack. What are you snacking on, Danny? Slim Jim. Slim Jim. <laughs> I, I have a cheese stick. We're both going for the protein. Um, we are at our first pit stop, and what I'm so happy about is I told Danny, I'm like, I have to stop all the time to use the bathroom. And guess what? She's going to be my bathroom buddy. <laughs> so it's all good. But we are at the first rest area, which this is the normal one I stop at. Um, on the way back, if we stop at the one across the highway, there is one of those windmill blades that's actual size. So maybe we'll get to show that to you on the way back. But so far the trip is going quick. It's much quicker when somebody is there with you to chat. We haven't even had to put on music yet. Um, uh, yeah, just chat and chat, chatting away about crafty stuff. Um, anything else, Danny? Nope, just right. so excited, so All excited. Right. Until the next pit stop. After we had our snack, we got back on the road and continued our trip to Tailored Expressions. We did have to make one more pit stop, but before we knew it, we were at the TE studio and ready for some crafting and shopping. We had to wait just a few minutes to get some seats together so we could do the make and take. 
It is a good thing I had Danny there who was actually reading the instructions because once again, when I got here, just like last time, it's like I completely forgot how to make a card. Um, we made a cute card, which you'll see here in just a little bit. I have a picture of Danny's. And while we were doing that, we were chatting with the other ladies who were there as well. Everybody is just always so sweet and friendly here. Now, if you want to stop by the Tailored Expression Studio, they are open right now on Tuesdays and Thursdays. You'll want to probably check out their website for that though, because they are going to be closing to move here in a little bit. After we made our card, we then did some looking around and shopping. I love how they have not only most of their product there so you can purchase, but then they also have displays of cards that were made and they are definitely inspiring. Many of the products that I ended up choosing were because of cards on display. Now, once we had our shopping purchases all figured out and paid for, we did get this quick picture of us. And I know that I mentioned earlier that they will be moving. And next weekend, depending on when you're watching this, it could already be passed, they are gonna be having a moving sale. Now, I've never been to one of their in-person sales um, to know what it's like but if I hadn't just went and they weren't a few hours away or a couple I guess I would definitely be going back we pleasantly discovered our next stop was literally right down the street but we did stop for some fuel along the way so we had time to shop until we dropped at memory bound scrapbooks Memory Bound is definitely worth a little trip, maybe a little detour, but it is the cutest, friendliest little store and is just stuffed to the brim with awesome crafty products. Alrighty, um, so we just got done in I forgot we're going to two craft stores. We just got done at Memory Bound in Ankeny, Iowa. Now I have been here once with my sister and that's in that Stamp Joy series. Danny, what did you think? Amazing, so many things, so many things as my wallet shows, yes. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we should talk about no. what we're spending, nope. you know, nope. but I think like I'll show you what I got in my video and I think Danny might make a video too. Oh yeah, I'm gonna make a haul video. So I will link that in that description box below. You have to go watch it. She picked up some great stuff. Um, but if you're ever in Ankeny, definitely Memory Bound Scrapbook. It's like, it's a small little store, but they cram so much into it. Like they have so much good stuff. So much and like, I mean, companies that you're gonna wanna see. Yes, um, I know that both Danny and I, we seem to, every time we like something, it was photo play. Yes. Like whether it was their paper, their stamps, what else? the stencils. stencils yeah. dye. I mean, everything we liked was it's, photo play. It's chock full, like tomorrow or tonight, we don't know yet, which we'll be going to Scrap Mania in Cedar Rapids. And I can't imagine them having any more than they had here. No. I think that it, maybe the store is just bigger, so it's more spread out. But we took some still shots, so, you, if you haven't seen those already, then I'll insert them here. But um, we're gonna get on the road and head to Cedar Rapids. We decided to get directions to the hotel first so we could go unload the car, you know, just relax a little bit. And then we got on the road. Now, originally it was supposed to storm the Tuesday and Wednesday of this trip, but I don't think that we could have asked for more beautiful weather the entire time. There was just a little bit of rain as we started out on Wednesday morning, but otherwise the skies were just as beautiful and clear as you see here. I chose our hotel for the stay, which was Avid in South Cedar Rapids. 
just because of the booking.com reviews, the pictures, and the price. And I have to say it was definitely worth it. Everybody was so friendly there. It was modern, it was clean, and they had something I had never seen before. Next to their ice machine were paper buckets to get your ice. Anyway, it's the little things that make me happy. We got into our room, unloaded everything, hung out for a little bit and then decided we should probably get some dinner. So we looked at what was close to us and I decided, you know what, it's Tuesday. Danny loves Taco Tuesday. So we went to Carlos O. Kelly's, which if you live at least in Iowa, I know they are, you have probably heard of. Let us know below if you have ever eaten at a Carlos O. Kelly's. Dinner was delicious and filling, so we decided since we still had some time and I wanted to walk off some of my food, we headed on over to Scrap Mania. When I said earlier I couldn't imagine Scrap Mania having more product than Memory Bound, I will admit it. I was probably wrong. Danny and I walked in this place and could not believe it. There was product all over so many different companies. We used every last minute we had until 8 p.m. to look through the store, check out all of the products they had, which many of these brands I have never actually seen in a store. And then after we had made our purchases, we stopped for another photo op. Hello guys. So we just got done at Scrap Mania, which I, th I still think it sounds like a scrapping event. Um, <laughs> We're speechless. I am. It was it was a lot. A lot more than I even thought. <laughs> they had like every company you could think of, companies I've never heard of. And it's like, you know, like a small Walmart before they got big and fancy, just yeah. for stamping and scrapping. So we got here, we decided to go tonight and we got here at seven and we're like, oh, an hour is plenty of time. And we got in there had we not been on a mission I think we could have probably spent like four hours easily easily yeah so the photos I've shared in little videos probably won't do it justice but if you are near Cedar Rapids I would go there and they actually have like a lot of good yeah like two thumbs up definitely yeah. they had a lot of good sales like buy three stamps get one free buy three dies get one so, free and stuff yeah so a successful crafty day we are worn out we brought our swimsuits but i do not think we're gonna be i think i'm gonna go back and crash yeah I don't know. me too so um i guess tomorrow we'll say hello good morning but we are i think gonna go ahead and head back to iowa once we check out so i hope you had fun back coming to nebraska on. oh my because <laughs> you were tired. <laughs> I am. And I grew up at Yeah. We are definitely going back to Nebraska. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long day. It has. A good day, but it a long has. day. So, yes, we're going to head back to Nebraska where we came from. <laughs> We spent the rest of the night just chilling in the hotel room because we were both worn out. We got up the next morning, had breakfast at the hotel, and got on the road. Again, it was a beautiful day for a drive besides like the first 10 minutes, and we got everyone home safely and unpacked.
Speaking of unpacking, while I put away all of the crafty tools I took for that tailored expressions make and take, I thought I would share a look with you at all of the crafty goodies I got and tell you about a couple special giveaways. So make sure to keep watching and listening carefully to find out how you can be entered to win. First off, thank you so much for watching this far into the video. I know it is one of the longer ones. As kind of a thank you for taking the time to watch my video and go over and watch Danny's, I am doing this kind of secret giveaway. Please don't go in the comments and give it outright about the giveaway, but you'll definitely be able to answer the questions and get your entries in. To enter into the giveaway, you do need to be a subscriber to my channel who is at least 18 years old and it is going to be open to international subscribers, but you'll want to keep listening to find out if you qualify internationally. Here in just a little bit, I'm going to ask you some questions. For each question that you answer in the comment section below, I'm going to give you an entry into the giveaway. Now please keep in mind, each of your answers must be a separate comment and they must all include the hashtag that you see up on screen now typed exactly as you see it. This way I know that you have followed the instructions and want me to enter you into the giveaways. You can leave those answers in the comments between now and midnight central time on June 19th, 2022. I will then announce the winner that last week of June here on my YouTube channel. Just a little heads up, I will have all of this information typed out at the very bottom of my description box where it's a little bit more hidden and not as obvious so you don't have to remember every minute detail. What can you win you might ask? I'm going to be giving away to two lucky winners a $25 gift certificate. Now originally I was going to have it be from Tailored Expressions, Memory Bound, or Scrap Mania, but I do see that I cannot buy a gift card to Scrap Mania online. But if that is your choice and you live locally, we'll see if I can arrange something over the phone for you to pick up. But otherwise you can choose from those two, maybe three, if you are one of the lucky winners. For my international friends, if you would like to enter, you'll want to double check with those websites to see if they'll ship internationally. And now for those questions that will earn you entries into the giveaways. First, which of the three places that we visited would you most like to go to? Please make sure to choose one, even if it's a hard choice. Question number two, from my crafty haul today, what product caught your eye or would you most likely be to buy? Please choose one and don't give a generic answer like paper or stamps. And for the third entry, I would like to know after you watch Danny's haul video, which one of the products she bought caught your eye. Again, choose one single product and not a general category like paper or stamps. We hope you enjoyed the little trip with us and don't forget to check out Danny's channel for her haul. That video will be linked in the description box and yeah. Hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.